currently taking a little walk here around the neighborhood of our Airbnb. We just checked in um, and we're staying in Richmond Hill, which is about, I think a 20 minute drive outside of Toronto for the first um, three nights before we start working from another Toronto apartment. And here's Pika enjoying his first walk on Canadian soil. Doesn't seem to be very pleased, does he? You're lazy even in Canada, Pika. Anyways, the Airbnb so far is pretty cool. We just basically dropped off all of our luggage and we've already utilized the washer and dryer because we don't have one in New York City. So we put in Pika's bed and we're gonna be doing some other laundry, but it's, it was a pretty long drive. So we are going to walk. We're gonna go get some dinner and that's pretty much it for tonight. Good morning, good morning. It is the next day now and it's officially our first day exploring the Toronto area. Last night was really great. We went and got dinner in the Markham area which is known for a lot of really, really good authentic Asian food and we'll be exploring that later on today as well. But we went to this Korean noodle house and oh my goodness, it was so good and so much more affordable coming from New York City. The prices were just amazing. I got a rice cake dumpling soup, which was so nourishing and comforting for me. Andrew got bosam as well as kalguksu, which is knife cut noodles. And then all of that paired with the best kimchi. It literally came in like a pot and you could tell it was really fresh, handmade, addicting kimchi that went so well with our meals. It was just amazing. Um, and this morning we just left a coffee house. It's called Cover Notes Coffee House right here in the Richmond Hill area. We got a little bit to eat as well as a coffee to kickstart our day. And right now we're gonna go about an hour outside of this area to explore some other things. And yes, this is a dog friendly itinerary. I brought my bulldog. He's the most undog like dog so if my dog can do these things then you can too if you're ever thinking of bringing your dog to any of the places that i'll be going to so let's head out and go <laughs> which is super cool. It looked really similar to the wave in Arizona, if any of you are familiar, or just that whole Southwest region. It was a really, really quick dog friendly trail to come here. Once we parked, it was 10 minutes and you were able to see the Badlands. The weather is super nice today too. It is a little bit hot, especially for Pika, but we brought some water. There was a fee to come here, which was $20 for me and Andrew total. And it actually includes some other sites to see around here as well. So we're gonna go and check those out.
ended up not fixing the big old crack right in front of me because the person here at this glass shop pretty much recommended that we figure it out with Avis, which is our car rental company. We didn't get extra insurance for like scratches and dents with Avis, but we do have insurance through our credit card, through Andrew's credit card. So we're gonna see if that can cover this crack. And the guy said that the crack will most likely go raw all the way across the windshield. Um, but again, I think we can get it fixed on our back. So yeah, what a shame. So we are currently at our dinner spot at Hey Noodles. It basically specializes in kimchi noodles, and this is a chain because I saw that there are several locations across Toronto. So excited! Chongqing is a really, really big area in China that specializes in uh, spicy, I think, and their noodles. I'm sure there's more. I'm just very ignorant. Um, but I've, I've had their noodles like once before in San Francisco and I'm really excited because this place has like a big variety. They have dry noodles, they have noodle soup, and they have vegetarian options as well. So we both got a bowl of noodles as well as some small appetizers to enjoy. I'm just excited because we are in like the Markham, Richmond Hill area that has a bunch of good Asian food and so I just feel like all my cravings can be satisfied here. Andrew got the spicy Chongqing beef brisket noodles with egg noodles. Look at how spicy this broth looks. I'm gonna try to sit to see if this will kill me or not. And my pain tolerance, I mean my spice tolerance is very low. Oh my god, it's so good. Nope, not that poo. Hold on now. It is spicy. It's a little numbing too at the end. And then for appetizers, we got some cold tofu skin and black fungus mushrooms. And then for myself, I got the chicken with mushroom noodle soup with sweet potato noodles. These are really chewy. I'm so excited to dig in. How good does this look? Oh my god, mouth is watering. The restaurant is a little noisy right now, but we got some classic Hong Kong food, Hong Kong cafe food, my favorite. And of course, I need to get my Hong Kong lunch because that's like my favorite beverage in the whole world. And uh, I've seen this place featured in some YouTube videos before, so that's why I came here. Yeah, I'm really excited. We got a ham and macaroni soup with some peas and carrots, and it comes with toast and egg. And then I got a classic ham and egg toast sandwich. Very crustless, of course, Hong Kong way. And then, of course, this is the moment I've been waiting for Hong Kong milk tea with some sugar. We just checked out of our first Airbnb, the one that we just stayed at for the last three nights and we're actually moving to a different Airbnb for the next five nights. It's gonna be in downtown Toronto and we did splurge a little bit because it is like a luxury high-rise apartment that has a balcony that I'm sure Pika will enjoy very much. He's over here, he's back here, he's chilling. But anyways, it is a little bit rainy right now um, but according to the weather app, it is gonna stop in a bit because we're gonna be exploring Scarborough next, which is a neighborhood in Toronto, but um, specifically a place where you can see like the cliffs and the water, and it's supposedly really pretty when I looked at the pictures. I don't know if I'll be able to do it justice because of this really cloudy and gloomy weather, but we're gonna try. We're gonna be working for the next four days, actually working remotely, so um, not gonna do not gonna be doing too much exploring, but mainly just um, gonna go out and eat when we can and maybe explore some bars and just walk around the city center with Pika.
god, mine is like a cardiac arrest in a sandwich. I think look at mine, baby. into our second Toronto Airbnb. It took us quite a while to get here because we are in a huge high-rise building right in the middle of like the downtown area, right across from the Scotiabank Arena, which is where all the sports, uh, which is where all the sports teams play. And yeah, it was just, it was a track. Pico was scared of the particular flooring that was on some of these floors in this apartment building. And so it took him a while. We had to like pick him up to get here. But this is such a cool apartment. We're gonna be here for the next five nights and we're gonna be working remotely from here. We don't have something like this in New York City, so this is definitely a treat. Let me show you guys a quick little tour of the Airbnb. <laughs> supermarket here called TNT supermarket but it was a little too far away we took the subway though to H Mart and that was a pretty big fail because that one was super small it was like in this Times Square like location so I got like some cup ramen there and then there's Jollibee next door so got some Jollibee here what's really cool about the Airbnb that we're staying at is that or there's literally a grocery store called Longo's attached to the very bottom of the building. It's like right above or it's right above the parking garage. So we went there and we were able to get some essentials like some fruit, um, cereal, milk, and uh, a bottle of wine. The bottle of wine that I got is um, this one. I don't know if it's good or not, but it was on sale and it's made in Ontario so it's a Canadian wine so I had to get that but yeah we're super hungry and it's almost 9 p.m. which is kind of cool because the sun hasn't like completely stopped setting yet and it's already looking super beautiful outside because of how high our apartment is so we're going to eat and then I need to get set up for the week ahead because tomorrow's Monday and we both have to work Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so, yep, going to, we're gonna eat now and enjoy the rest of the night. And I can't wait to see what the night view looks like at night. And I'll show that. I'm sure it's very beautiful. 